hello guys welcome to my channel thank you so thank you so much for watching this video okay today i have a little message for you let's go azazel azazel remember this name is the name given to the scapegoat it, it was one of two goats chosen on the world day of atonement on that day, the high priest sacrificed the first gore and sprinkled its blood on the cover of the Ark of the Covenant in the most holy place of the sanctuary. The second god, which was the scapegoat, symbolically had the sins of the sanctuary put on it by the high priest and was taken out into the wilderness. Leviticus 16, chapter 16, verse 21-22. Just one third from God can last a lifetime. The sacrificed God symbolized Christ, who sacrificed his life for our sins. The scapegoat represents Satan, who is really the one responsible for sin. The sin of this God into the wilderness Rep represents the condemnation of Satan who will ultimately bear responsibility for all the things and evil he instigated. Today the word scapegoat is defined uh, as a person group made to take the blame for the mistakes or wrongdoing of others. However, this definition is not accurate in the context of this for Satan is very much at fault and deserves the consequence of his mistake. Jesus represented uh, the sacrifice of God because he died for our sins even though he had no fault. He takes our place and applies his death to us when we accept his sacrifice on our on our behalf. Many people today struggle with a dark past full of mistake, pain, and suffering. However, God's love for everyone is so great that He removed our sins as soon as we repent. No matter how horrible the sin or how much we feel like He could never love us, He is there waiting to forgive us and to help us change for the better. He sacrificed his son. He sacrificed his son so that all those who believe and repent may have eternal life. John chapter 3, verse 16 and 17. Just one third from God can last a lifetime. So when you think when so when you are thinking of how big your sins are, just think of how much bigger God's love is for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.